Hi guys, we are back with the new module again in the Blue Prism. Till now we have discussed about the pages and the process level, collections, loops, data items and how to define multiple choice. Today we are going to discuss a new topic called exceptions. How to handle exceptions. Exceptions is nothing but when you know, if suppose your your data word should be given in the format of dd mm y y y and suppose if the user gives it in the way of dd instead of it gives in mm dd four y's then it's an exception it's not valid and if you're taking in a banking accounts and if the account number should be eight digits if the user gives only less than eight digits or greater than eight digits then still it is an exception so how are you going to catch an through an exception and how are you going to catch it and send it to an user saying that this specific command which he has given or input given is wrong i'll take a decision box for a sample one i'll write three greater than four let's say if three greater than four it's no right exception here I can I'll call in stage which is named as exception when you double click on exception exception you will find three different screens one is exception type exception type is of multiple varieties one is system exception system exception is nothing but when you when your application is not loading or when you when your blue prism itself is down okay those kind of exceptions are called system exception business exceptions are like the rules and regulations on what basis your code is written if it is violating then those are called as business exceptions there are a few other exceptions which are called as internal exceptions let's suppose i did not give any exception type here or exception detail so when i execute this code it will throw me an internal exception because the format was not maintained now as this is a business exception then exception detail 3 is not greater than 4 click ok now I will start the program Now it is throwing an exception called business exception where 3 is not greater than 4. In real time if an exception is thrown in this way we have to catch it and store it in one place. So to catch an exception we will use another stage called recover which catches the exception and will be closed that exception is only valid within this time frame. Okay within this block itself the exception is valid other than this if once this recovery and resume is completed the exception will be terminated or it is ignored see if I run the program again from start the exception is caught at this recover stage so earlier we have seen a pop-up where it was showing what is the exception to right now see what is an exception we will take a calculation stage here in the top bottom left corner we have some inbuilt functions so in the exceptions one I will take exception detail so any exception thrown this exception detail catches it I will store it in something called error message and I will create it I will connect the record to calculation stage and resume once I forward the same error message has come over in this page I resume it it finishes now one thing if I call the same calculation stage after resume okay we will see how does it react so recover resume see as 
the exception was killed over here there was no exception detailed maintained so due to which we cannot catch the exception so every time to catch an exception we need to define the exception in recover and resume block itself so that we can catch your exception using exception detail now the next topic if you see in the exception okay we have an option called preserve preserve is nothing but it stores the first exception when this tick mark is ticked it stores the before exception which is thrown and it passes over to the next page for this sample example what i'll do is i'll create another page called preserve exception i'll call the same coding here Instead of three greater than four, I'll add two greater than four. I'll change the exception to two is not greater than four, and I'll call the preserve page in this section. this if you see the programming here what will happen is whatever exception is thrown over here it should come through this loop so i'll refresh it in between i have missed one topic which is block okay now I'll remove as of now this page. Okay, I've started the program. Okay, and it has thrown an exception. It has recovered calculation page and resumed. As the program was not started from the main page, it again throws an exception, due to which it goes to an infinite loop. So to overcome this in loop prism, we have a concept called block. So if I define a block. Let's suppose I have defined a block over this exception and recover, and I have started the program. So, any exception which occurs in this exception is only caught in this recover. Other than that, it does not get caught anywhere. Now, earlier the same program was getting caught in recover. Now it is throwing an exception. If suppose I have done like this, not defined in this block, this recover is independent. If I start this program now, as this there is no specific recover for this exception, it get gets thrown as a pop up. So for right now, to perform this preserve part, we'll call the page again preserve exception finish. Starting the program, so I'll define a block over here, so it gets caught in this exception itself. Next is. Now, if you see clearly, as this recover was not kept in any block, it was thrown directly to this recover stage. If suppose I create same block over here without this page you see it's it will throw the exception as a block as the recover and resume are kept in a block no other exception thrown cannot be assigned to that 
recover stage now now coming to our main topic preserve exception so when i run this when i run my code now it should throw me this exception instead of throwing the exception defined in this 3 is not greater than 4 as it is stig marked it does not throw this exception the previous ex exception which is thrown will be captured so for this what i'll do is i'll create a block over here so that any exception caught in this mixer should be recovered here in this exception as the pressure exception is kept over this block any exception which is thrown will be recovered here now if you see the exception thrown was 2 is not greater than 4 but still I am connecting my recover to the next exception which is 3 is not greater than 4 as there is a tick mark given here the old error message will suppress the present error message and see it is saying 2 is not greater than 4 but it should have thrown 3 is not greater than 4 so the main theme of this preserve option is the if you check this exception mark the old exception will be passed on to the main process levels till now this is a exception and recover part that's it from exception side thank you